Okay, we have talked about codominance. Remember, co means together. Codominant situations, both of the genes are dominant together. They both completely show up in their full array together. And this next situation we're going to talk about is incomplete dominance. Incomplete means one's not totally dominant over the other. So with incomplete dominance, we get a blending. Okay, like red and blue make purple. Yellow and blue make green. We get a blending of the two traits. Okay. So incomplete is not completely dominant. One's not completely dominant over the other. They blend together. So we're going to look at the, the Bikini Bottom Genetics handout on incomplete dominance. SpongeBob loves growing flowers for his pal Sandy. Her favorite flower poofkins are found in red and blue, and then when they blend together, we get purple. Use the information provided in your knowledge of incomplete dominance to complete the section below. So, red is not completely dominant over B, and B is not completely dominant over red. So, to show up as red, you have to have two of those R alleles. We R, R, and that's an R. R, R. To be totally blue, you have to have two blue alleles. Okay. If you happen to have a red allele and a blue allele, then those are going to blend together. Red and blue together make purple. Red's not dominant over blue. Blue is not dominant over red. They blend. They're incomplete dominance, and we get purple. Okay. So what would happen? If SpongeBob crossed a poofkin with red flowers and a poofkin with blue flowers, well, the red was big R, big R, and the blue was big B, big B. So all their offspring got an R from this parent and a B from this parent, and they all ended up being 100% RB, which would blend together red and blue to make purple. So you get 100% purple. And the next one, number three, says, What would happen if SpongeBob crossed two poofkins? with purple flowers, so two purple. So to get purple, they had to have the red allele and the blue allele, red and blue blend together to make purple. So this one would be R, R. This one would be R, B. This one would be R, B. And this one would be B, B. Okay. So one out of the four would be RR or red. What percent would be red? Well, one quarter is 25 cents, so that would be 25% red. And what's no purple? Well, we have this one's RB, red and blue blended together to make purple. Red and blue blended together to make purple. So two out of the four, 25, 50. 50% would have purple flowers. How many plants would have blue flowers? BB would be blue. One out of four, or 25% would be blue. Okay. Number four says, what would happen if SpongeBob crossed a poofkin with purple flowers? Well, purple, we know purple has to be a red and a blue. Red and blue make purple. With a poofkin with blue flowers. Well, blue has to be B and B. So let's both make them blue together. Okay. So complete the Punnett square. We have a purple one. R, B, and then we have blue, which was B, B. Okay, so here we would get R and B. And here we would get B and B. And we would get R and B and B and B. Okay. So what are the genotypes and phenotypes for the offspring? Well, we have RB there and we have RB there. So 50% would be RB with red and blue blending to make purple. 50% would be BB or blue. Okay. And then B says if SpongeBob planted 100 seeds from this cross, how many should he expect of each color? 
Okay, so 50%, 50% of 100, okay, purple flowers. Let's see how many we had. 50% purple, so that would mean 50 out of 100 would be purple. We had 50% blue, so 50 out of 100 would be blue. And there would be no red flowers. Page here. So SpongeBob and his pal Patrick go to jelly fishing on the jellyfish fields. The fields are home to a special type of green jellyfish called known as goobers, and the only really great jelly fishermen are lucky enough to catch some on every trip. Many of the jellyfish are yellow, why why, or blue, BB, and then green, yellow, and blue make green. It would be the incomplete dominance. And uh, don't get confused trying to figure out if it's um, incomplete or if it's co-dominant. You'll be told. If it's co-dominant, we'll say it's a co-dominant situation where both show up together. If it's incomplete, we'll tell you that those two mix together to give you a, a totally different color this, or whatever. It's a blending of the two. So we'll let you know that. So we're going to cross... Why be yellow and blue make green? Why be yellow and blue make green? So we're crossing two green jellyfish. So this one gets Y, Y. This one gets Y and B. This one gets Y and a B. And this one gets a B and a B. Okay. So what percent of the offspring would be yellow? Yellow, that should say YY right there. And that green should say YB right there. And the blue is BB. Okay. So it says, what percentage of the offspring would be yellow? Well, what percent is yellow? Yellow has to have two yellow. So it's pure yellow. And that would be one out of the four. One quarter is 25 cents. So it would be 25%. What percent would be blue, BB? Again, it's one out of the four, so that would be 25%. And what percent would be green? Well, two out of those four, so that's 25, 50. 50% 50 would be green. Okay. So what would happen if you crossed a yellow jellyfish with a green Jellyfish, complete the Punnett square. So yellow, this one's going to be YY. This one's going to be yellow and blue make green. So YB. B. So we're crossing a, crossing a Y. Y with a Y. B. So this one right here, we get a Y. Y. Here we get a Y. Y. Here we get a Y. B, and here we get a Y and a B. Okay. So what percent of the offspring would be yellow? So yellow is going to be Y, Y. So what percent is Y, Y? Well, we have two out of our four. One half, or 50%. What percent would be blue? Well, blue has to be B, B. Do we have any BBs? No BBs. 0% BBs. And what percent would be green? Green is YB. Okay. So over here we have YB and YB. 2 out of the 4. 2 fourths, 1 half. Or 50% would be YB. Okay. Now I'm going to leave the others for you to try on your own. 